A spinner has the numbers 1 through 5 evenly spaced. If the spinner is used 3 times, what is the probability that it will land on an odd number exactly once? A. 12 out of 125 B. 18 out of 125 C. 27 out of 125 D. 36 out of 125 or E. 54 out of 125 OK, so we have the numbers 1 through 5 evenly spaced. So if we write those out, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And we're, we're, going to do, we're going to spin our spinner three times. So if we mark out those three spaces. And we're interested in the possibility, the probability of getting an odd number exactly once. So how many odd numbers have we got out of our five numbers? What's the probability of getting an odd? Well, it could be one, three, or five. So there's three possible odd numbers out of how many numbers in total? One, two, three, four, five, five. So the probability of getting an odd number is three out of five. What's the probability of getting an even number? All numbers are either even or odd. So probability of getting an even number means we get a two or a four. So there's two different options out of five options, so we've got a probability of two out of five. We want to get exactly one, so of these three numbers, let's say our first one is odd, so that has a three out of five probability, the other two have to be even, so that has probability of two out of five and two out of five. So if we want to, we want to be odd and want to be even and want to be even, in arithmetic, we're always multiplying. Whenever we've got something happening and something happening, we multiply. If it were or, we would add. So we've got 3 over 5 times by 2 over 5 times by 2 over 5. Now, it might not be the first one that's odd. It could be the second or the third one. We've got three possibilities. Odd, even, 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 odd, even, or even, even, odd. So we have to multiply this probability by 3 for these three different things that can happen. So we've got 3 times by 3 times 2 time is 6 times 2 is 12 and then 5 times 5 is 25 times 5 is 125 so we've got 3 times 12 over 125 which is 36 over 125 QED the only other thing that I'd like to say at the end here um, the reason we can go ahead and multiply these probabilities without changing the, the denominator every time is because these events are uh, independent of each other. The five numbers on the spinner stay the same every time you spin it. And that's why we can calculate the probability and then just apply it every time. The probability doesn't change based on more spins.